Thank you, Sports Center. We go very college football game preview and prediction on the 2022 Guaranteed Rate Bowl matchup between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Definitely one of the more intriguing matchups of the early part of bowl season. You got Wisconsin, who's definitely had a down season. This team only got up to six wins this year, and considering this team is usually a pretty big contender, at least in the Big Ten West, it definitely was a disappointing season. But they fired their head coach, Paul Christ, got fired early on in the season. They just hired Luke Fickle a couple weeks ago, the former Cincinnati head coach. So things are looking up as we head into this bowl game for Wisconsin, even though it has been a disappointing season. And they're taking on Oklahoma State. The Cowboys were literally inches away from being in the college football playoff last year. And so the expectations were high for this team, returning to the talent that they did heading into this season. But this team has kind of fallen apart down the stretch. But either way, definitely a very interesting matchup and uh, definitely one to look forward to. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this match here today. Starting over with your team, Krenz, Wisconsin, lost to Minnesota to finish out the regular season. 16-23 to in that game really resembles how this season was for Wisconsin. Offensively, they couldn't get much done. Defensively, they were in almost every single game, but it was just the offense. That was a big issue for this team all season. But they got up to 6-6. Six and six. They made it to a bowl game, and that's... That's the least that you could ask for, I guess, in this in this 2022 season that's been full of disappointment for the Badgers. But once again, I mean, it's it's been a rough season, but at least there's some optimism for this team with a great head coach coming in and Luke Fickle. But as for Oklahoma State, they lost to West Virginia, one of the worst teams in the Big 12 this season, 24-19, finished out the season at 7-5. And, and yeah, it's been a roller coaster for Oklahoma State as well. I mean, it's both teams have been in, a, in somewhat of a similar situation. It's been just a disappointing season. And now Oklahoma State, Spencer Sanders is gone. He's in the transfer portal. And, yeah, it's an interesting situation for this team as we look forward to this matchup. Games will be on Tuesday, December 27th in Phoenix, Arizona. Your kickoff is 10.15 p.m. Eastern, so it's going to be a late one uh, for both Wisconsin and Oklahoma State, uh, both being teams in the central time zone. Spreads going with Wisconsin by 3.5. Over-under is 43. And the FBI is going with Wisconsin as well, 53.3%. So Wisconsin's favored but by a slim margin series history. It's actually the first matchup between Wisconsin and Oklahoma State ever, which kind of surprised me at first, considering both teams are power five. And you would think maybe once or twice they faced off in maybe a bowl game or a non-conference game. But nope, this is actually the first game between Wisconsin and Oklahoma State ever. Stat comparison for this one, Wisconsin 75th in points per game. They're 30th and points allowed so a strong defensive team here that's kind of what wisconsin's been the past couple of seasons their offense has just not been able to get too much done they're 112th in passers again 54th in rush yards and then for yards allowed 29th in passing 13th in rushing so you got a passing team here with graham mertz uh, all season which graham mertz he's he's gone now he's actually transferred to florida so both teams are without their uh, starting quarterbacks that they've had all season but quite honestly I don't think Wisconsin's going to miss Graham Mertz too much. He just was too inconsistent. He turned over the ball too much. And, uh, I mean, his stats really show that. 2,100 yards, 19 touchdowns, 10 picks. Just a very underwhelming career for Graham Mertz at Wisconsin. And they've really had to lean on the rushing uh, the rushing game. That's kind of been common with Paul Chris teams at Wisconsin. It's been a very heavy rushing, uh, a very heavy rushing offense. And Braylon Allen has been that running back this season. He's... Rush for over 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. He's one bright spot on this Wisconsin, uh, on this Wisconsin offense, and at least he's going to be returning. I can imagine for years to come. So he's he's still very young. I mean, he's he's got a bright future, that's for sure. And I mean, you look at Wisconsin. Yeah, such a strong team in the rushing game. I mean, Jonathan Taylor, and uh, I mean, you look back way back to Monte Ball and Melvin Gordon. I mean, this has always been a strong team under Paul Christ in uh, in the backfield. But for, def or for the passing defense, this team is 29th. For the rushing defense, they're 13th. So once again, defensively, they've gotten it done for the most part this season. But Oklahoma State, 53rd in points per game. They're 104th in points allowed. So defensively, this team has really struggled. They are 22nd in passers a game, 90th in rush yards. And then for yards allowed, 120th in passing, 98th in rushing. So this is a terrible pass defense. The rush defense is also not that good. I mean, they're allowing nearly 30 points a game if you're Oklahoma State here. And for Wisconsin, they're only allowing 20. So it's a big difference. You got Wisconsin, a strong defensive team. Oklahoma State, known for being a somewhat strong offensive team. But now that Spencer, Spencer Sanders is gone, I mean, I'd say I'd say everything's out the window now for Oklahoma State. Uh, there's, there's not much certainty around this team right now. And 
I mean, they got Garrett Rangel. Looks like he's going to be the starting quarterback. You also got um, Gunnar Gundy in there. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with the quarterback situation, but I'm not too optimistic about the quarterback situation and this offense for uh, for Oklahoma State in this matchup. I mean, they're 22nd in passage game. This has been primarily a passing offense, and so without the primary starter for the past few years and Spencer Sanders, uh, it's definitely going to be a switch up. But they've had Dominic Richardson in there, who's rushed for over 500 yards, eight touchdowns this season. He has been uh, the primary starter at running back. Um, and yeah, otherwise this team has been for the most part relying on the passing game. That's been the way, the main way that they've scored points this season. Recent matches, Wisconsin lost to Minnesota 16 to 23, beat Nebraska 15 to 14 on the road. That game was very close. I mean, Wisconsin had to uh, really storm back to win that one. They lost Iowa 10 to 24. That was also an ugly loss there. They beat Maryland 23 to 10, beat Purdue 35 to 24. Uh, so overall, I mean, they've they've got a couple of decent wins. I mean, once again, this has just been too inconsistent of a team this season. They've taken a couple of close losses. I mean, if you look back to that Washington State loss, they lost that game by three. They lost to Michigan State by six in double overtime, lost to Minnesota by one score. So, I mean, this team has been competitive. But, yeah, they have taken a few, a few close losses. Um, yeah, that's for sure. But for Oklahoma State down the stretch, this team has just gotten beaten up, quite honestly. I mean, they, they lost to West Virginia by five. They lost to Oklahoma by 15. Uh, beat Iowa State 20-14. to 14. That's the one win that they've had really since the late parts of October. They lost to Kansas 16-37 to 37 on the road and got shut out to Kansas State 48 to nothing. That one was ugly, to say the least. Keep watching for this one. Wisconsin 6-6. Six six. Defensively a strong team. Offense has been a looming issue. That's kind of been the story for Wisconsin the past few years. And... I mean, yeah, strong defense, but offensively, I mean, they've been strong in the rushing game. I mean, you got Braylon Allen, who's definitely on the rise right now. And if you look back to past years between Jonathan Taylor and uh, Melvin Gordon, Monte Bull, I mean, this team has had so much success in the backfield in recent history with Paul Christ. And I'll guarantee you this, though, with Luke Fickle, this will be more of a balanced offense. I mean, you're, you're still going to have great running backs, but guarantee you the quarterback situation is going to be better under Luke Fickle. It's just been rough the past few years. Uh, Graham Mertz in particular just couldn't lead this offense to any success. And so I think it's good for Graham Mertz to move on and find a, a new start. And he's actually off to Florida, it sounds like. So that's definitely going to be interesting going to next season. Uh, Graham Mertz in Florida, but he's gone. He's not going to be around for this game. And once again, both teams are going to be working with uh, with second quarterbacks, um, with Graham Mertz gone for Wisconsin and uh, for Oklahoma State, Spencer Sanders in the transfer portal. We don't know where he's headed yet, but he is in the transfer portal. So, yeah, Braylon Allen's going to have a huge impact on this game. Uh, I guarantee you he's going to be running the ball quite a bit for Wisconsin here with the quarterback situation being as bad as it is right now. But yeah, Luke Fickle, I mean, there's it's a bright future for Wisconsin, that's for sure. If you're a Badger fan, a lot to be excited for. I think Luke Fickle is an outstanding head coach. And quite honestly, this is a home run hire for uh, for the Badgers, if you ask me. And Jim Leonard is the interim head coach for now. Um, so we'll see uh, where he ends up. If he can stay on Wisconsin's staff, that's a huge win for the Badgers. Something to keep an eye on. For Oklahoma State, after starting 5-0, and finished the season 2-5. and Just a tough finish. Spencer Sanders in the transfer portal and defensively have had issues this season. And that's kind of one of the main concerns. And uh, that's, that's something for me is, I mean, you look at this defense versus Wisconsin's defense. At least the Badgers are strong on one side of the ball, and that's defensively. Oklahoma State, in the beginning parts of the season, offensively, they were a really strong team, and defense was kind of an issue from the start. But down the stretch, I mean, it's just been, it hasn't been anywhere near as good. Um, offensively, they've had a lot of trouble, and so, and the defense is still, honestly, just as bad as it was. So, but with that said, let's get to prediction here for Wisconsin and Oklahoma State. Coming up here in the guaranteed Ray Bull, I'm going to be going with Wisconsin to win this game. 23-17 is my predicted final score. Wisconsin, simply put, I think is the better football team right now. Both teams have struggled down the stretch. Um, but Wisconsin in this situation, at least they got a side of the ball that's shown some strength, and that's the defense. Their offense is at trouble all year. But for Oklahoma State, I mean, Oklahoma State's defense has been bad all season. Their offense was kind of one of the bright spots, or was the main bright spot in the early parts of the season. Uh, and this team started 5-0 mainly because of their offense. 
but defensively, uh, they've just been poor down the stretch, and the offense has only gotten worse. So, I mean, for Oklahoma State, it's going to be an uphill battle for them, I think, and I could see Oklahoma State winning this game, but I'm going Wisconsin near 23-17. to I'll say 60% towards the Badgers. I am fairly confident Wisconsin wins this game. It, once again, it could go either way. It's a bowl game. It could, once again, it's almost like a coin toss for most of these bowl games. But Wisconsin, I just feel, is the more complete team right now, and they've got some optimism in their program right now with, you know, with Luke Fickle coming in. Uh, so I think the Badgers uh, get a head start into the offseason with a nice uh, win to finish out what has been a disappointing season. Over under 43, I'll be taking the under for this one and Wisconsin to cover the spread in the end. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.